Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the awesome Black Friday Cyber Monday um, brush set from Sparkle Co. I'm going to show you what I use for the attachments for and how to use it. So here's the cute brush set with all the attachments. This Sparkle Co. label, this beautiful crystal. It's this really pretty pink rose gold color. Okay, so first I'm going to show you these two, I don't know the correct name for them, but I love these for painting or for cleanup around my cuticles. One is slightly larger than the other one. Um, they work perfectly for one stroke designs or for painting designs like flowers or petals, pretty much anything you want to use them for. But my favorite is for the cuticle cleanup. They work really well for that. Okay, and then these two, they look like mini acrylic brushes, um, the nice oval shape, but these ones, there's also one slightly larger than the other, are perfect for flowers and petals, especially petals, but you can use them for pretty much anything, and they also work really well for cuticle cleanup as well. Um, you can actually use them to help do fills if you wanted to, they're nice and tiny, work perfect for that. Um, this one is one of my favorites for painting my nails if I'm using a mixed gel or painting larger designs or accent nails. But in my last video, I used mixed these two together and showed how I use this brush. Um, but it's also perfect for applying hybrid gel. It's, a, it's just a really great brush all around. And this awesome attachment is a stone cuticle pusher. It lasts forever and is perfect for pushing back cuticles. Um, just use a little bit of cuticle softener or remover and just go to town on them. And it's perfect. And like I said, it's stone, so they last a while. And then we have this striper brush, and it's perfect for painting stripes or any long lines or any long kind of details, but it's a striper brush. It's good for stripes. And then this little cutie is called a fan brush, and it can be used to paint with gels or polish or to make cute little accent nails, but it also works perfectly for dip powder ombre, especially, and this is my little favorite detail brush that's good for all details. But I'm going to use this fan brush, and I'm going to show you how to do a little ombre, like a little glitter ombre with it. But first, this is how you would attach the different attachments to the brush. What we're going to do is just unscrew this pen-like portion of the brush and set that aside and then I'm going to go in and just screw on whatever attachment you want to use and it's that simple. Okay and then for this ombre I'm going to use DP 186 Misty Rose and 187. Um, these were in the $54 gift set so if you want these colors they will be available for sale on January 1st from Sparkle & Co. And of course, for any dip powder mani, you need your base bond, solidify, and glossy coat. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my base bond and paint my entire nail with a very thin coat. And all you're going to do is just do your normal dip in whatever dip powder you want. And I'm using Misty Rose for this one. It's a really pretty nude, mauve rose color. Um, but just do, yeah, one little normal dip in your solid color or glitter color. Honestly, whatever dip powder you want, possibilities are endless. But yeah, just go ahead and do one dip in that. Normally, I would do two dips, but for this, for this little tutorial on how to use the brush, I'm just doing one. But brush off your excess powder, and we're good to go into our second coat of base bond. And this is DP187 from Sparkle & Co. And it's so sparkly and so pretty. But now I'm going to show you how to use the fan brush to do a sprinkle ombre. Um, so what I'm going to do is paint my whole nail again with the base bond. And you don't need very much, so do just a thin coat. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fan brush and I'm going to just pick up this glitter, dip it in and pick up glitter for it. And I'm going to start at the cuticle and sprinkle it on and fade it out towards the tip. And the fan brush works perfect for this. 
um, because it evenly distributes the glitter instead of all coming down in like one spot or a lot in one spot like a normal makeup brush would. The fan brush picks up glitter. I don't know. It just works perfect for this. Um, the fan brush is perfect for ombre -ing. It works good for gel designs too, but it's my favorite for this method. And here is what it looks like using the fan brush to ombre or glitter. Then you just go back over in any spots that might need more and touch it up. And because this is a glitter, um, you would typically go in and encapsulate it with a clear dip right now. But since it's already laying pretty flat with the sprinkling method, I'm just going to go straight in with my um, coat of Solidify. Otherwise, like I said, normally it would do clear, but it's not needed right now. So just go over it with your Solidify. Um, as long as you keep that glitter sequence wet, they will lay pretty flat. And that's all. And then you would go let it dry, buff if you need to, and then you would finish it with your glossy coat like normal. And if you're interested in any of these products, I will link them in the description. Just go to sparklingco.com and you can use me as a referral on your first purchase for a $9 credit or subscribe to a bag and use me for an $18 credit. Plus use code SPARKLE10 for 10% off your order. But that is all easy peasy. And here you have the fun fan brush ombre. And thank you so much for watching. If you liked, please like and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram and leave a comment with something you'd like to see. Deuces and smooches.